Just because, you know, a couple things just don't make sense. I mean, one, it just looked like somebody kind of like stepped out to the right of that light and then stepped back a little bit. I mean, they must pay a uh, hell of good money in gift cards to people. The first thing I feel, and I'm starting to feel a headache now, and I shouldn't. I just took Tylenol or ibuprofen. If it doesn't go away, I'm gone. But what has me intrigued, and yes, it is none of my business, and I, I always give the benefit of the doubt. But when you're so used to seeing somebody pass you this way when they go to work and they dip the other way. It, it's almost reminiscent of shenanigans. I mean, that's weird, like, I mean, you got somebody out over here right now. But, like, I mean, I, I just don't, uh, maybe it's just me, and it's a trust thing now, because I've been fucked with for so long, you know, could be, very well could be. I mean, I ain't doing anything wrong, so I don't got anything to be paranoid about. Yeah, I mean, except not paranoid, but worried about somebody offing me, you know, because, I mean, my wife's death was a little weird to me, you know. She was alive and kicking at five, had dinner, watched TV took a shower, the whole nine, you know, got in bed, I got back out to watch TV, and got back in bed, and in the morning, she just didn't wake up, like, and that was five months to the day after my stroke and seizure, like, to the day, and I got a crystal clock downstairs, and I, I was told at the hospital, they used to tell the time of death when the clock stopped, and the crystal clock stopped that night at like 1.40, give or take a minute. That's the same time I had my stroke and seizure. On the same day. Just in the early a.m. Same time that I think she passed. Only I carried guilt around because... She was able to call an ambo for me, but I couldn't get that favor back to her. But, like, I'm outside, you know, I took Tylenol. And if my headache starts to clear up going, you know, standing out here, then basically I got to go because my health means more 
You know, I mean, I, I can't keep doing that. And then to top it off, the just the weird behavior of everyone around me. And I do mean everyone, like, no one acts the same. And I noticed that, you know, when people roll out of here, 90% of people that come off my street go that way towards those red lights and go up the boulevard. You know... It's bad enough I already have the starting of a headache, got up, took ibuprofen, but I can't continue to sit in that area and continue to be uh hold on. See I'm out in the yard like Coming from right there, yeah, see, I'm getting three, none, none, and then over here where I'm told you I, I hurt somebody. I thought I just had three. Yep. In the direction where I thought I heard someone. Let me see my area. I mean, at my door. Three. Four, right at the door. Right where I was at. didn't have no lights earlier but maybe one I got three it's like a <clears throat> it's like an electric chair I can't be I can't be in that environment you've heard of people sensitive to electromagnetic you know like the fuse boxes and stuff <coughs> I mean I can tell I can feel it in my head so I'm either getting hit with low frequency weapons microwave weapons something EMF it's it's some kind of frequency and 
and it starts with a headache. And like I said, I can't do that. You know, Targeted Justice at www.targetedjustice.com. There are affidavits, court cases going on right now. They're setting up for a class action lawsuit. I've already filled out my paperwork for it. If they ask for a polygraph, I'm willing to take it. I don't think it's right for somebody to be microwaved, stalked, harassed. I mean, that's crazy. Like, the Fourth Amendment says you're supposed to be safe and secure in your persons, places, things, effects, that whole nine. And that's not happening. Eighth Amendment is no cruel and unusual punishment. I'm getting some way cruel punishment that's way cruel. Deathly type. See, there's somebody down there. You hear him crinkling on the ice and shit. Sound like I heard doors. Maybe gates. But to be aiming microwave or elf or low, you know, extremely low frequency weapons and shit like that. Pardon my language, Lord. It's a human rights violation and a war crime and a crime against humanity, your civil rights, all of it. I mean, how did I know that, you know, someone was over there before I heard the crinkling? The meter, the meter pointed that way. That wasn't my phone. Now if the light goes off. Right there. Then that's where they just went. If not. It's the house right before there that's got Florida tags in the driveway. Nobody should be subject to this shit. Pardon my language, Lord, but it's crazy. It's like People are conspiring to hurt, maim, or take me out. Period. That's what leads me to believe that my wife's heart attack wasn't an accident. She was awake and good at five, and then the next day, she didn't wake up. And it was blamed on her medicine. But that's not what I think it was. I think it was one of these microwave deals that stopped her heart. And it would kill me to know 
that there are scum out there that would do that to take a mother away from her children. I mean, I was only with her for 17 years. Yeah, I put up with some ups and downs, but that's some bullshit. Pardon my language, Lord. So, you know, I'm going to check my meter one more time just to see if they stop coming from that way. One light. Where's the three and fours? Oh, there they are. But oh, that might be coming from the house. Transmitting. The sure as hell ain't files. So, you know, a couple minutes from now, if my headache ain't gone, I will be, sadly. And I, I really do like it here, but my health is more important. <laughs>